take the gondola west along the river. When you reach the northern bank, you are in Nicaragua. I've arranged for a guide to get you close. Snake! Chico. Sorry about the horse. He sure was pretty. Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Boss. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life. By your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. Kill me. Kill me now. There's only room for one boss. And one snake. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove their innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way that the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her in America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. That was her final mission. Snake, history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true Patriot. <laughs>